Hi everyone this is Dr Pasnodi Suman consultant pediatrician and this video is regarding everything a common man should know about mucormycosis so called black fungus and which is all over social media and news channels over the past few days as you already know black fungus is declared as an epidemic in the Rajasthan over the last week and now recently Telangana government also declared the same still government officials say there is no big outbreak yet it is difficult to say why a growing number of cases of this fungus are being reported from all over the country the strain of the virus in the second wave appears to be virulent sending blood sugar soaring to very high levels and strangely the fungal infection is affecting a lot of young people before going into the details of this mucormycosis as many of them watching this video won't have enough time to watch till the end So here I am presenting an important observation made by doctors in the NIMS Hyderabad as there are reports of this fungal infection in even who have not taken steroids or having diabetes they came to a conclusion that the reason is reuse of this mask multiple times as it is used continuously for 3 to 4 days due to sweat and humidity in our breathing the fungus will grow on it so we appeal everyone to wash it daily or change it or dry it in sunlight so What is mucormycosis? This is a serious but rare fungal infection caused by exposure to muco mold. It is ubiquitous in nature and it's found in soil and air and even in the nose and mucus of healthy people. What are the types of mucormycosis? And there are five types depending on the area involved. Rhinocerebral, pulmonary, cutaneous, gastrointestinal and disseminated mucormycosis. Who gets this mucormycosis? As it is rare but it's more common among people who have health problems or taken medicines that lower the body's ability to fight germs and sickness high risk people are with comorbidities or post transplantation or any cancer and who is on voriconazole therapy who has uncontrolled diabetes and has been immunosuppression by steroids and or prolonged icu stay when to suspect this mucormycosis This should be suspected if you have any of these symptoms such as sinusitis, nasal discharge, local pain in the cheekbone or one-sided facial pain or numbness or swelling over the face, any black lesions on the nasal bridge or upper inside of the mouth that quickly become more severe or if you are having fever or any other skin lesion or blurred or double vision with pain or tooth pain or loosening of the teeth or jaw pain even chest pain and blood vomitings or worsening of the respiratory symptoms if you have any of these symptoms please do consult your doctor immediately so how does someone get mucormycosis most of the doctors believe this is triggered by the use of steroids a life saving treatment for severe and critical ill covid-19 patients diabetes lowers the body's immune defenses coronavirus exacerbates it and then the steroids which help fight covid-19 act like fuel to the fire can mucormycosis spread from one person to another no this mucormycosis won't spread between people or between people and animals so how to diagnose it if mucormycosis is suspected your doctor might advise a diagnostic nasal endoscopy and followed by contrast enhanced mri or ct scan usually mri is preferred over ct scan how do we manage this mucormycosis once the diagnosis has been made the next step is immediate surgery until the surgery is done during the interim period the drug called amphotericin b is started to prevent the progression of the disease and this can be continued up to 8 weeks Despite early diagnosis and aggressive combined surgical and medical therapy the prognosis for recovery from mucormycosis is poor how to prevent mucormycosis it's difficult to avoid breathing in fungal spores because the fungi that causes mucormycosis are common in the environment as of now there is no vaccine to prevent mucormycosis but there are some drugs and steps which can be taken to help prevent it as said earlier do not reuse mask If you are reusing please wash it and let it dry completely before use and the most important preventive measure is to control your diabetes if it's not under control please do visit your physician or an endocrinologist and the next one is 
avoid self medication with steroids and if needed your doctor might consider prophylactic oral posaconazole drug in high risk patients to prevent mucomycosis hope i have given enough information for bringing an awareness on this black fungus thanks for watching